Hello and welcome back. As you can see um, from my screen, the uh, my download has finished. Hopefully yours has too. If it's not, uh, don't start this video yet. Wait till your download to complete. Um, so now I'm going to just hit this clear list to clean things up a little bit. Shut down, uh, go through here and let's say, let me shut down uh, Firefox. And lo and behold, I have the downloaded zip file on my desktop. And uh, there's really nothing to the install. Um, we basically just have to unzip the file, copy it into our directory structure somewhere, create an icon, and then see if it works. Um, and so hopefully it will. Uh, so I'm going to right mouse click on the icon and I'm going to select uh, Extract All. You don't have to uh, use the Windows Extraction Utility. Um, you can use you know anything you want. Um, let's see, it's just a little smaller. Here we go. I'm going to select Next to unzip it. So I'm just going to put it on the desktop for right now. It doesn't really matter where I put it. Uh, but I'd like to just put it on the desktop. I'm just going to manually copy it over. So I'm going to click on Next. And uh, it's going to go through and uh, it takes a few minutes. It's going to extract out the information. Um, and put a nice little folder on my desktop so that I can copy it over. I guess, you know, you probably could have saved yourself um, a step or so and just clicked on Browse and found the location. Uh, but it, it actually, when it creates the folder, it creates another folder inside of the folder. So this just gives me a little bit more control um, over what's going on here. Um, so let's see. In a few minutes, the uh, file will be ex extracted. And um, I should see it on my desktop. Wait a few minutes here. Okay. Um, there we go. So I'm going to click on finished. And uh, lo and behold, actually it opened it up for me automatically, but lo and behold, here it is. Here's the, uh, here's the folder that it uh, extracted out. So I'm going to throw this one away. I don't need the zip file anymore. I like to keep my desktop pretty clean. If I double click on this, um, you see actually the name of the folder was Eclipse Java Helios SR1-Win32. And, and inside of it, we have a folder called Eclipse. This is the one we really want. Inside of the Eclipse folder, we have other stuff. Um, we have the file itself that's going to run it, which is a big old uh, icon, a purple icon with some stripes on it. And we have some other utilities. So basically what I'm concerned with is just this main folder here. I don't want it inside of the other folder. So I'm going to go to the file manager, my uh, Windows file manager, and get to it any way that you want. and. Uh, I am going to mix and make this a little bit bigger here. <clears throat> I'm going to click on my computer to expand that out. Click on the local disk C to expand that out. And then uh, I'm going to click on uh, the arrow next, the, the plus symbol next to program files to expand that out. And then here's my Java directory, um, my subdirectory Java inside of program files on my C drive. And I remember from the last video, we had the JDK and the JRE6 here. I'm just going to copy the Eclipse into it. So I'm going to go back up, and uh, I think it's underneath. Yes, it is. Here it is. I'm going to take this Eclipse folder and uh, drag it. I'm just going to drag it into the location where I want it, um, which is going to be in the Java subdirectory here. So I'm taking the Eclipse dragging it into Java. And so now I have it here. I have uh, Eclipse and I can see inside of Eclipse subdirectory I've got uh, configurations, drop-ins and stuff. You don't worry about anything like that. Um, and actually I'm going to show you a way of running it so you don't even have to add it to your path. If you want to add it to your path you may. Um, this will allow you to run it from anywhere. Uh, but let's just make a shortcut and uh, a shortcut of the main executable and then we'll copy that shortcut onto the desktop and we'll run it from there. So if I expand out the Eclipse uh, folder that I just moved over, I see, as I mentioned before, we have the Eclipse icon here. Um, it looks like a big old purple, so I don't know what that's supposed to be. It looks like a big old purple circle with some white stripes on it. Um, in case, this is the one we're looking for. So take that one and right mouse click and create a shortcut. And then we're gonna, I'm going to take and copy, I'm going to take and drag the shortcut and put it onto the desktop. Um, so here's my shortcut over here. And I'm just going to drag it, stick it onto the desktop. Let me try that again. Drag it, stick it onto the desktop. There we go. 
and uh, close this out, close that out, and now let me zoom out a little bit here so I can see what I'm looking at. I've got the shortcut here, and this is that folder. It's, it's uh, empty now because I dragged the, the subfolder out of that and I put it into the Windows File Explorer there, so I'm going to throw this away. And uh, now I'm actually going to put the shortcut, I'm going to put it in the, my taskbar as well. Um, so if you're not a Windows user, these are some handy tips you can watch me do here, but uh, most of you guys know how to do this already. Um, I have uh, locked and unlocked the taskbar. I like it. It uh, makes things kind of clean looking. Uh, I'm going to zoom out a little bit. And I'm going to actually throw away this, uh, throw away the shortcut too. Makes my desktop nice and clean, so you guys don't have to look at a bunch of clutter when I make these videos. All right, so now I'm actually going to run Eclipse, and this is what it's going to look like when you run it. And uh, uh, all I'm doing is going down here to the bottom, my little shortcut that I created. I'm going to click on my shortcut, and let me zoom out. Oh, Windows is going to give me some uh, file open security warning. It's an old Windows XP thing. You may not get it if you're running Windows 7. I'm just going to click run. And what do I get? I get this uh, this interesting little box that shows up on the screen. Um, and uh, let me zoom out so you can kind of see what it looks like. It's a big old box that shows up. It says Eclipse on it. And it kind of looks like my system's frozen. I don't have to click on the box. I don't have to do anything at all. The first time you run Eclipse, it configures itself. It sort of does its own install and its own configuration all at once. And the only thing that I have to really answer to is where do I want my workspace to be located? And so you got a little dialog box that comes up. This is Workspace Launcher. And um, what this is going to do is it's going to have me pick. It's going to say, well, where, you know, where do I want my projects stored to? I would just select the default. And in my case, it's Documents and Settings, Owner, Workspace. The most important thing is you want to click this little box here. Click the box that says Use this as the default and do not ask again. Otherwise, it's kind of irritating. Every time Eclipse loads up, it's going to go through this all over again. To avoid it, just click the little box and then just say OK. And now you're going to have what you normally get. Um, if you see at the bottom of the screen here, you see there's a, a white line with some green um, status indicators. And essentially, just let it sit there, let it do its own thing. And uh, eventually, what's going to end up happening is the main IDE window is going to show up. Let's see, it probably has shown up, but you can't see it because I zoomed out. There we go, it is there. Okay, so what we're looking at then here is a menu. Let me go this way a little bit to zoom in a little bit, see what you're looking at. A little drop down menu, File Explorer, uh, excuse me, Package Explorer, especially we'll packages. At this point, what I would do is kind of go through and don't close any of the screens or anything, but run through and check out the menu options and get kind of familiar with the interface. Um, because in lecture two, we're going to build our first program. And um, so you probably, I mean, I'm going to walk you through it, but it's nice to know what it is that you're doing and where things are at and stuff like that. So if you got this little menu that came up and you got this little screen and your program looks like that, you're done. You have installed Eclipse. And uh, you don't have to worry about Eclipse finding Java because all Eclipse is doing when you run to compile is it's running that Java C. And that, that Java C file can be run from anywhere because we've loaded it into the path. And so Eclipse is going to find it automatically. So there really is no configuration that you have to worry about in terms of Eclipse. At this particular point, you're completely done installing everything that you need for this particular class. And in the next video, we're going to actually build our first program, so that'll be exciting. So if you have any questions, feel free to email me. And uh, my email address will be at the, um, the website, at the YouTube website where you downloaded this video. So anyway, good luck. Hopefully your install went well, and I'll see you for the next lecture.